sub YouTube, seriously. Oh, a luck here. And today we're gonna be opening up Konami's newest set. It is Lightning Overdrive. But first, I wanna ask you guys to check out the channel, subscribe for more insane, maybe just maybe godly Yu-Gi-Oh videos, and please give this a thumbs up. And speaking of thumbs up, you guys, um, we are gonna be doing another giveaway for this video. We're giving away an entire booster box of Lightning Overdrive. There will be four winners. And speaking of winners, we got the winners from last video. Goes from the past on screen now. All you guys gotta do is message us on sq at gmail.com. Um, yes, get your winnings. Thank you guys for partaking in that giveaway. Now for this giveaway, for a Lightning Overdrive, an entire box of Lightning Overdrive, what do you guys need to do? You ready? Give the video a thumbs up. That's easy, easy peasy. Post in the comments below your favorite, no, not even favorite. If you could open up a first edition vintage Yu-Gi-Oh box, which would it be? Why are we talking about first edition vintage Yu-Gi-Oh boxes? Well, let's talk about the third thing you need to do for this, for this giveaway. Follow us on whatnot. What's whatnot? We'll get that in a second. There's gonna be a QR code on the screen to follow us. There's gonna be a link at the top of the description below because on June 5th, 4 p.m. Saturday PST, we are doing a first edition 24 pack live break of Pharaoh's Servant over on Whatnot. Because of troubleshooting, you guys, we probably won't be able to uh, simulcast both the stream on YouTube and Whatnot at the same time. So if you guys really wanna see that stream live, please follow us on Whatnot. Um, we're definitely going to post the video, edited, beautiful video on YouTube though. So you'll see it eventually, but if you wanted that live experience, go follow us on Whatnot. Also for today's giveaway, follow us on Whatnot. Uh, Whatnot, again, a way to open up packs with me live, live breaks, you guys. Also, it's a way to support the Simple Lucky Game Shop, support the show, however you want to look at it. It's amazing though. It's been awesome. I've been doing lots of lives with you guys. It's been pretty fun. So giveaway day, thumbs up, post in the comments below. Favorite slash the booster, vintage booster box, first edition box you wish you could open. Could be LOB. I feel like a lot of you guys might say LOB because that's, but also MFC for me might be it. Uh, or Invasion of Chaos. Woo. But yeah, you guys post in the comments below. Let us know this way. This is a way though. Follow us on whatnot as well for the giveaway. This is a way though that I can open up these classic boxes with you guys, actually be able to do this, make some videos. This is crazy. If we can do this, it's gonna be crazy. Also, we're doing another giveaway on Instagram for another Lightning Overdrive box. Uh, if you wanna go follow us on Instagram, go do that. You can actually win both, because why not, or whatnot. Uh, on the Instagram, it'll also ask you to follow us on whatnot, and then probably add some friends to the post. But yeah, you guys, giving away two boxes here. This is crazy. Lightning Overdrive, are you guys ready? <sighs> Lots of good pulls here. Today is a little different though. Today is about the Starlight Chase. We had some issues with the Ghost from the Past video. See, I'm getting a little worked up right now. We had some issues. We opened up a lot of Ghosts from the Past. <laughs> Ghosts from the Past. It was a difficult journey, but I'm glad I was able to make it with you guys. Still don't believe in Ghosts. Haven't seen them. <laughs> Haven't seen them. So, I do believe in Starlight, Star Brights because they're gonna be in my dreams tonight. We've seen some starlights. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Lightning Overdrive. First edition. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. It's like I wanna shuffle the packs because I've been opening live with you guys so much. First pack, here we go. This is Lightning Overdrive, Konami's newest set. Scrap Raptor right off the top. One of the best cards ever made. It's crazy, you guys, and it's a common. Scrap Raptor. Got the Sun Avalon cards. At Innister's making a comeback. We got our Stay Sailor. Thought it was Star Sailor at first. Some Sailor Moons. Some Rose support in here, guys. Springins. AIs. Crazy, crazy. What a set. Let's get some good hits, some good pulls for you guys. Springins Merrymaker, very cool. DDD, Super Sight, King Zero, Maxwell. What a name. I like these. AI Challenge U. That's cool. Fuku Buku. Screams of the Brandon. Oh yeah, I got some uh, 
more fusion craziness with Albaz, I think. Starry Night cards. Look at that. There's more Starry Nights coming from Ghosts from the Past. Amazement. Curry. One Curry way. <laughs> Amaze Attraction. Speaking of amazing cards here. Got some Ray Zero vibes going from that guy. Um, Amaze Attraction cards. A whole new archetype in here. Pretty cool, actually. Got a cool secret rare and ultra rare. There's your Amazement cards there. Zaxels. Birth of Prominence. First ultra rare there. One Curry Way, Bujins. We've seen some awesome pulls. Arm Sage, you got Utopia cards in here, guys. Actually pretty freaking sweet. One by one. Is that Sinister Serpent with a pot of greed? Yo, classic cards there. Maze Attraction, Merry Go Round. Cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play an Amazement deck. Pretty amazing. Right. Here we go. War Rocks are back, you guys. Terrors of the Underroot. The Blossom support. We got the Sun Magician. Hidden Springs of the Far East. <laughs> what is this card? All right, Judge of the Ice Barrier. All right. A little bit censored magic for you guys. Some Bougians. Konami didn't want us to forget about Bougians. Back in the day, guys, I did not like playing against Bougians. Oh, our first secret rare, we got a War Rock Meteor Ragged. All right. I'm curious, so let's see if you guys have a chance to get mapped boxes here. War Rock Mamad. These guys are so sick. These guys are so cool looking. I'm loving it, you guys. That's my goal in life. Get some barbarian armor, get decked out, increase my muscle mass times six, become a War Rock. AI, dude, Scrap Raptor again, Boo Boo game. Oh, we got the Rampant Rampager. Dude, you guys, Tri Brigades are off the charts right now. Crazy. These cards are so good, so powerful. One Curry Way, Garden Rose. Don't forget about your Rose cards in here. Springin's Booty. Got some Springin's Booty. I want to get a Springin's deck going, you guys. Let's get some Springin' cards activated. Next pack here. Uh, Mysterion, the Dragon Crown. Nice, you guys. This guy looks freaking incredible. Konami stepping up their game with their pictures. Anyone else thinking that? I feel like I'm, I'm not the only one that's feeling that. AI, my, nice to meet you. AI meet you. Okay. Hey, Bujin descend, Descendants. Candidates. Okay. Close enough. All right. Two Ultras so far. I'm opening from the left side because I'm just curious if we're going to Seventh pack, hit another secret. Just want to see what happens to you guys. I know a lot of you guys are curious about that. Let's get into it. As force, we got a Pendron Sanction. Pendron Sanction. Star Mine. Okay. <laughs> War Rocks, Claw Card. Another War Rock card there. Here we go, guys. Heart of the Cards, guide us. Can we get a Starlight today? Amazement Family Faces. Get that. Get it going there. Oh, two ultras and a secret. Here we go. You and AI. Are the cards. Lightning Overdrive. Pretty hype set, actually, I feel like. Especially with that Starlight. Oh, Diviner of the Herald on the first box. The biggest, biggest pull of the set, you guys. This is an incredible card. Incredible. Already got a good mix of boxes. On the first box, guys, this card literally changes the game. Literally changes the game. And by the way, do you guys want to shuffle your packs? Abso-freaking-lutely. Both of them, six left. Absolutely shuffle your packs and your boxes. All right. Diviner of the Herald, you guys. If this card is normal or special summoned, send one fairy monster from your deck or extra deck to the grave. If you do, increase this card's level by that monster's level until the end of this turn. If this card's tributed, special summon a level two or lower fairy monster from your hand or deck. Oh my god. You can only use each effect once per turn. And let's not forget, it's a fairy tuner. It's bonkers. What a good card. Crazy. And it's a cool picture. And it's a cool picture. Diviner of the Herald. Wow. And we got our Kaiba Corp sleeves today for our big pulls, you guys. Let's bring them out. Let's bring them out. 
Love that. Look at that. Beautiful. A little Kaiba action going on. He's here. He's watching over us. Diviner of the Herald, you guys. What a pool. What a pool. Here we go. And from what I understand, Starlights are not counting towards the Secret Rares. I guess we'll find out because we'll definitely pull one today. So got some more Utopia support, but we're already killing it, you guys, with a card that is worth much more than the value of your box or just as much as the value of the box here. Absolutely incredible pulls, you guys. Amazement, Precious Park there. I feel like a lot of effort went into that picture. Cool. It's like the, the map you see at Disneyland. Honestly, maybe these Amazement cards are based off of Disneyland. Someone actually took the time to look at them. I'm curious. Veronica Guardian Sphinx. It's a set of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's taking it back to the Sphinx. Is it a flip effect? Once per turn, change this card to face down. If this card's flipped, summon, shuffle all monsters opponent controls into the deck. You can special summon level five rock monster, so it goes and gets the other Sphinxes. Is it Guardian Sphinx, right? It's Guardian Sphinx is the first one. Shout out to Konami, bringing back the Sphinx, yo. That was a fun card to always look at back in the day when I was a kid. Man, taking us back. Ato Shimadashi. Riliona, the Wondrous Magistus Witch Wardrobe. Okay. Riliona making a comeback. We got Magistus support in here, guys. Konami's been doing a pretty good job since they don't have to follow an, uh, you know, an anime anymore. Starry Nights again. Scrap Raptor again. Discipled Angel. Interesting. Earth Fairies. You got the Wonder Wheel. It's definitely an amusement park. Or should we say, amazement park. But yeah, Konami's doing a great job supporting their archetypes. Big tournaments will probably be coming back soon enough as people get the vaccine as well. Springins, the brothers. So, pretty cool to see archetypes not just get left in the dust. I feel like that happened a lot before. So... Diviner of the Herald already, you guys. Freaking massive war walk, war rock, barbarian man. Meteor Ragon. Jeez, what a name. Lion of the Light Charmer. We may or may not have got a Starlight version of this on Whatnot, you guys. Shout out to Whatnot again. That was crazy. Um, there should be a QR code. We might leave the QR code on screen in the corner. Let's chat, you guys. Let's get that Pharaoh Servant going. Opening going. It's basically a way to live stream with you guys. It's a way that I can actually spend the time just to, to live stream with you guys, but also support the show, uh, the show and uh, something like a game shop. This is a freaking Sky Scourge guy. I don't know if you guys saw this. Look at this dude. Got some Death Note vibe going on. Cool. Hey, Trap Tricks of Besiculo, another nice ultra rare. Got to make sure we get our waifu cards, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful cards. I'm affected by holes. What does this one do? You can send one set trap to the grave. Special summon this card from your hand. Manage this card from the graveyard. Target hole monster grave set to the field. Cool. Powerful trap tricks card. Bringing back the trap tricks, you guys. Let's see it. Keep it up on our first box here. Already one of the best boxes possible. Literally, it only might, gets much better than this if you get full starlight. I'm glad we can get an epic, godly box first time around. That means that this opening is only going to get more and more godly. Just want, to, want you guys to realize what's going to happen here today. All right. S Force. We got some new S Force cards. Speaking of S Force, there's Edge Razor. That guy looks awesome. Reminds me of some uh, Tekken. What's his name from Tekken? That's cool. UNAI, Binary, Binary Blader. I feel like we've seen some binary cards. Bujins again. Beautiful first box, you guys. Four Ultras, two Secrets, Diviner of the freaking Herald. Absolutely crazy. Here we go, guys. Next box. Shout out to the giveaway once again, you guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Post in the comments below. If you could open any vintage first edition box, which would it be? Because we are opening up a first edition Pharaoh's Servant box over on Whatnot um, Saturday, 4 p.m. PST. It's going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to, uh, to be there with you guys. Also for the giveaway, of course, follow us on Whatnot. And check out the other giveaway on Instagram. Another Lightning Overdrive box. Um, follow us on Whatnot on that one as well. So get your double dip, guys. Get yourself some Lightning Overdrive. All right, we got the Pegasus Twin Saber. 
Tears of the Underroot, Springins, Judgment, Expendable Die, nice. Bringing back the die cards. Is that Dark Fiend, whatever his name is? That looks awesome. Draw a card, Tribute Warriors. Birth of Prominence again. Those epic silhouette cards. Always pretty nice. Can we get a Starlight hit today, you guys? Come on, I need you to believe in the heart of the cards for me. We've got a Dragonic Halberd again, more of that uh, utopic support. World Soul Carbon. Who is this? What a dude. Add one Earth Fairy monster from your deck to your hand. There's Earth Fairy cards going on here, guys. I like that. I like that. Earth Fairy cards. A Stratos for Earth Fairy. Cool. Got some Bougins. AI meets you. Dark Infant at Ignister. Infant. I don't, li I don't like hearing that for some reason. Infant. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Um, we got the Plunder Patrol Sea Guides. Plunder Patrol getting a couple cards. Has anybody tried to make a Plunder Patrol deck? How is that gone? I feel like they should have enough support by now. And that one is a, um, what's it called? TCG exclusive, or it was. Obviously, OCG just got it later, but still. Line of the Light Charmer, man, we're pulling this girl right now, you guys. I wonder if it means we are going to get a Starlight version. Oh my gosh, that really looked like a Starlight on the on the camera here. But awesome, you guys, live. Uh, live Twins getting support in here, you guys. Very cool. This is Kisa Kill Frost. For this one, especially some of this card from your hand, if you have a Leela monster on the field, that's pretty good. If so this card's added from your main deck to your opponent's hand by a card effect, if a card, sorry, is added from a main deck, I was like, we're bringing back exchange. Here we go. If a card is added to your opponent's hand from the main deck, and you control an Eve Twin, you can ban this card from the grave to draw a card. Wow, That's a, that seems like a pretty good card for Evil Twins. Nice to see another Evil Twin, even though, I guess it's Kisa Kill again. So there still is only two Twins? Or they're saying there's actually more Twins, or is it just different versions of the two Twins? I think it's just different versions of the two Twins. So, but still pretty cool. So again, you guys, shuffled boxes from multiple cases. What it'd be crazy to see is if we get multiple Diviners of the Herald. That'd be nice. But of course, we all know what's going to happen. We're going to get our Starlights today. We're going to get our Starlights today. Kind of make up for our, our Ghost Rares and the fact that uh, we don't believe in Ghosts because we haven't seen them. <laughs> all cards. I am super stoked to open up the first edition box with you guys. This is going to be so fun. Oh, baby, there we go. Secret, rare, dark, honest. Okay, honestly, this is gonna be one of my more favorite cards in the set because, you know, I'm that kind of classic vintage player here. Honest, classic card, you guys. It was one of the best cards at, a time, at its time. I think it was always like an $80 to $120 card too. It was one of those big hits in, uh, what is it, the Light Sworn set that I'm just not gonna remember right now. But it was, it was crazy, you guys. Dark, honest. Absolutely cool card. I love how Konami's changing it up. Once per turn during the main phase, you can return this card, face up card in your hand during the damage step. When a dark monster battles an opponent's monster quick effects, send this card to the hand of the grave. Loses attack equal to its own attack. Whoa. Is that better or worse than Honest? So this one's making them lose because it's dark and Honest makes them gain their own attack, right? No, you gain your opponent's attack. That's what it does, right? Which one is better? Let us know in the comments below. Dark Honest or Regular Honest? Or should we say Light Honest? Definitely going to be one of my more favorite cards in the set today, though. Kaiba Corp Sleeves from Japan. Let's go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, you guys. Dark Honest. I'm not even sure... At this point, you guys, I don't think I know the Starlights of the set. I just know the Light Charmer and Black Rose. So let's get, I think we're, oh, Maze Attraction Cyclo Coaster. Cool. 
Pretty cool card. You got the secret rare guy on there, I think. Or the girl, not too sure. But yeah, guys, I think we need to pull maybe just a couple starlights to just see which, which ones they are. Scrap Raptor again, nice. Boo Boo game, more live twin support. Lavalvels are back with an X Lord. Got some support and ghosts from the past. They're like, why not give them, give them another card from Lightning Overdrive? Let's go. I think this is one of my more favorite playmats to open on with you guys, just because Kaiba can just, just hang out with us. I like I was just chilling there. Not necessarily in the background, but hanging out with us as we open up these boxes. Zexal Construction. It's a pretty crazy card, you guys. Reveal a card in your hand if you do add one of the following cards from your deck to your hand. ZW, ZX, Zexal, Spell Trap, Rank Up, Rank, Rank Down. Pretty crazy. Part of the cards. Guide us. Got another Earth Fairy. Very cool. We're not done yet. Paleozoics. Got a little link going on there. Supreme Sovereign Serpent. Golgonda. I was going to say, this seems like a Springens card. Is it though? Great Sand Sea. Interesting. Seems like a monster they would battle against. Alright, here we go. Springens again. Warrock Spirit. Man, we are definitely getting Warrock support here. These ladies, these Warrock ladies. The Warrock, Warrock cards kind of remind me of a uh, the other Barbarian Yu-Gi-Oh cards that came out, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. White Knight Dogmatica. It's those huge flip effect monsters. sub right? I think sub had some, some looking guys there. That's a White Knight of Dogmatica, you guys. That's actually a really cool looking picture. I gotta look at that a little longer. Scrap Raptors again. Ruddy Rose Witch. Rose support, you guys. Don't forget about Rose support. Along with Pharaonic Guardian support. Look at that. White Knight Dogmatica. Oh, Lee, look at the background. That is an awesome picture. We have eight, seven different ultras right now, and we are opening from different cases. This is crazy. Oh! What? Two boxes in a row! Diviner of Herald! Here we go! Here we go! Yu Gi Oh! Gaiba! The godly opening has begun! Yo! Yo! Oh man, oh baby. This is literally the best box you can get without a Starlight. We're just gonna pull a Starlight. Let's make it the best box you can get possible. You guys, this is crazy. I feel bad for Meteor Ragon over there. We're gonna run out of sleeves though, Meteor Ragon. Oh man, oh man. This is crazy. Double Diviner of Herald. Woo! We are firing up today. That's like two Pot of Prosperities in a row. Here we go, guys. Come on. Can't stop. Won't stop. It's time. Warrock Dignity. There we go. More Warrock. Okay, I'm making a Warrock deck. It's happening. We're just going to do it. These freaking Barbarian guys are too, too cool looking. Just too cool looking. Ooh, this pack is, is heavy looking. Rox Rose Dragon. All right. Roxy Rose. Cards normal special summon. Add one card that specifically lists black rose in the text from your deck to your hand. Interesting. And you can add this card back to your hand from the grave. Spring and booty. I like that picture. It's like a cool thumbnail. Love it. Wow, guys. Last pack of Destiny from this box. That is insane. Boo boo game. Wow. Crazy, you guys. Crazy. That was fun. That was Lightning Overdrive. Epic opening. Had some fun pulling some of the most powerful cards inside of this. The Starlight Search will continue. But as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Check out the giveaways. Follow us on Whatnot for that live first edition pro servant opening coming up very soon. And uh, just can't wait. And see Unlucky signing out.